Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Academy. Today we'll talk about whether Wu Tang will release NFT songs. Let's head into it. Ghostface Killa is set to release NFTs based around previously unpublished lyrics the founding Wu Tang Clan rapper wrote over 20 years ago. This week we'll be talking about something that's set to change the music industry as we know it NFTs, otherwise known as non fungible tokens. The latest high profile artist to jump in on the buzzy tech craze, Ghost tells Rolling Stone that he was looking back through notebooks of old lyrics some of them over 20 years old, as he was getting ready for the 25th anniversary of his debut solo album Iron Man. He and his team decided those lyrics would be a good foot in the water to determine how the NFT marketplace would fit for him going forward. He hasn't shunned the idea of releasing music directly as NFTs, but says he's looking at the lyric release as an experiment. It isn't clear yet how many NFTs Ghost is releasing or when the drop will be, but all the lyric NFTs will be one of ones. We'll see how it goes, if I want to do more of these longer term. There's a lot of options I can do, he says. Music, art, or in this case, some of my lyrics. There's a lot we can do, so I have to do some experimenting and find out what works. But for this one, people are going to get a vintage rhyme from Ghostface. Ghostface Killa and the rest of Wu-Tang now have an association with the NFT market past the fate of the group's seventh studio album, Once Upon a Time, in Shaolin. Wu-Tang infamously released only one copy of that album in 2015, which sold at auction to convicted felon former bro Martin Shkreli for $2 million. A group of crypto enthusiasts bought the record for twice as much in July and plan on marking the deed of ownership over the record with an NFT. Ghostface says the album has had little trajectory on his decision to try his hand with the crypto tokens. I'm just going to be straight up. I don't care about that album. Ghost says of Once Upon a Time in Shaolin. I don't care who sold it or the owner now. I've got nothing to do with that. And that album didn't affect my decision to do any of this. I'm just releasing a rap sheet of my own music. Ghost is releasing his NFTs through the Sing Market, one of several NFT marketplaces launched more specifically around music. Ghost says he had several suitors for an initial NFT drop, but went with Sing because they gave him the best offer, and he felt they were the most artist-friendly. Among the artists and music groups who've already established partnerships in NFT drops on Sing include Aloe Black, Limp Bizkit guitarist Wes Borland, and management and record company Shelter Music Group, whose client list includes Fleetwood Mac and ZZ Top, Rain Maida, the lead singer of Canadian rock band Our Lady Peace, and Sing's chief product officer, has advocated for NFTs as means both of putting more value on music and connecting with fans in novel ways. Fans wanted to support an artist, made a says. Just because DSPs happened doesn't mean that fans didn't care about putting value on the music they love. Look at Bandcamp Fridays. They've done so well each week since they launched. We're still so early in with the market, and music fans still don't really know what NFTs are, but they certainly have a better idea of them than a year ago. Cryptocurrency group bought loan copy of Wu Tang Clan's Once Upon a Time in Shaolin as NFT. A cryptocurrency group has bought Wu Tang Clan's Once Upon a Time in Shaolin as an NFT for the equivalent of $4 million in cryptocurrency. Please her Dao, a cryptocurrency collective led by James Johnson, has purchased a loan copy of Wu Tang Clan's album, which was previously owned by a former hedge fund manager and convicted felon Martin Shkreli. This is like the OG NFT, right? The original fight against the middleman. Who are rent seeking. The US federal government seized the album from Shkreli and sold it to an undisclosed buyer after the Pharma Bro was found guilty of fraud in 2017, two years after he bought the record for $2 million. Now, Pleaser Dow, which has previously bought digital collectibles connected to Russian dissident punks Pussy Riot and NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, owns the copy for the New York Times. The purchase took place through an intermediary because the US government doesn't currently treat cryptocurrency as real money. This album, at its Inception was a kind of protest against rent-seeking metalmen, people who are taking a cut away from the artist. Johnson, who labels himself as the group's chief pleasing officer, told the publication, Crypto very much shares that same ethos. Wu-Tang Clan's RZA said at the time of Once Upon a Time in Shaolin's release in 2015, the idea that music is art has been something we advocated for years, and yet it doesn't receive the same treatment as art in the sense of the value of what it is, especially nowadays, when it's been devalued and diminished to almost the point that it has to be given away for free. You see a new generation absorb our music and our culture <clears throat> and infuse it into theirs. It's a, it's a blessing. It means all the hard work we put in. As a result, the rap group made just one copy of the album and sold it with a stipulation that it could never be publicly shared. We believe that we can do something with this piece, Johnson said, despite the purchase agreement to enable it to be shared and ideally owned in part by fans and anyone in the world. It's not clear exactly how Pleaser Dow might be able to do that. Pleaser Dow has been in touch with RZ 
RZA, and the project's co-creator, Dutch rapper Selvorings. RZA, who has tried to get the album back before, declined to comment. Selvorings, however, issued a statement. We wanted to honor the NFT concept without breaking our own rules. What do you think about NFT music? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.